1.5 is exponential to radical form. We haven't talked about radicals yet, but in order to do some of these exponent uh, problems in this chapter, we have to know what radicals are. So if I were to have the exponent x raised to the a over b power, how I can change that into a radical, which is kind of like a square root, has that, um, that symbol, the denominator of the fraction becomes the index, which means, is it a square root, is it a cube root, is it a fourth root? And then the a, the numerator, becomes still the power of the base of the exponent. It's really easy. So directions in the first two say write the expression in radical form. x to the two-fifths is really the same as, this becomes the index, the denominator, so this is a fifth root of x squared. The way I can remember it is since the two's on top, it stays with the x and the five has to move. And that's all you do. Number two, if I had x to the three halves, that would be now a square root of x cubed. And then if you wanted to go the opposite way and take something that's a radical and change it into an exponent, you would have your base is x, the four stays on top of your um, fraction, and then it's four sevenths, four sevenths. And number four, x doesn't look like it has a power, but we know that's automatically a one. So this would be x to the one fourth power. Okay, and then I've got two problems that are multiple choice. It says select the expression that is equivalent. So in this problem, I have one over something. This whole x plus four is being taken to this power. It doesn't need to move to the numerator because it's not a negative power, so I know it can't be that or that. It has to stay in the denominator. It's really all about how do I rewrite this as a radical. And so this two means I have a square root and a square root does not need the two here. It's automatically known that if you have a square root symbol, it's index is two. X plus four, keep in parentheses, it's raised to the third power. So that would be this one because it's a square root of something cubed, not a cube root of something squared. And then number six, we've talked about how the parentheses make all the difference. This had x plus four grouped together. This has nothing grouped together, so the only thing that's got the power is the x. So two actually stays in the numerator. You drop down the x to the positive two-fifths, and then we want to rewrite that as a radical. So this would be the fifth root of x squared. So that would be right here.